Hello everyone and welcome to Automotive History through Diecast. Today we have a history lesson on a uh, area that's very exciting to me uh, is the gassers. Um, most people refer to a gasser as a car that's lifted high up in the front, um, but that's not actually what a gasser is. When drag racing started, there were basically two categories. Um, your stock car that you just brought in, that you drove every day, and a full belt race car. Well, as, the, uh, as it grew, people started taking their stock car that they drove every day and modified it during the week and drove it again on the weekend. So they had to come up with a separate class in between stock and completely modified. So they created this gasser class. And all the gasser class was was it could be modif it could be modified, but it had to run on street gas. Um, it had to be a pure stock. It had to be street legal, so it had to have headlights, tail lights registered. Um, so people started making more power. So basically, the reason they are lifted is out of necessity. They started making more power, but the tire technology was not there. They had hard rubber tires and they could not get any traction. So they would spend all week making more power and then go to the drag strip and actually run slower than they were running the previous week because they could not get the power to the ground. So what they started doing was raising the front end up. Not only did they raise the front end, but they would put a solid axle to take some of the weight away. So basically what we think is cool looking is what they were doing out of necessity to go faster. So by getting that front end up, it transfers the weight to the back tires to help it get better traction. Over the years, uh, there were many different cars, and basically, another thing that's interesting to me is the higher the car was, was actually the slower the car was. So basically, there was a rule that how much cubic inches you had to weight told you how high you could lift your front of your car because people were getting out of hand with it. So they started with the slowest ones and they told them two feet from the bottom of your motor to the ground. Two feet was the highest you could go. So if you see a car lifted really high, it was actually a slower car. So for the look we like today is actually what would have been a slower car back then. You gotta remember this is 40s, 50s, they didn't have the technology we have now to make stuff. Um, so they were doing things to alter things, to customize, to uh, compensate for that. Most gassers have exhaust coming right out the back tires because they didn't have the technology to make new exhaust systems for them. So they would just dump it right out the, the side. They were saying there was other cars they would make. But they learned over time, and once they got, they called the wrinkle slick, where the sidewall flexes, they got more traction and they realized they didn't have to raise that front end to go faster they actually started lowering it down because when you have the front end that high air gets there gets up under there and once you get going 80 90 100 miles per hour the car is unsafe you you've made it lighter and you've made a big hole for the air to go through so it's it's kind of interesting that something we like the look of was just done out of necessity because they didn't have the technology 
to do it different. But nowadays, when you see a gasser, it's probably not a gasser. Um, you know, they have fiberglass panels, they have the interior ripped out of them. These were all things that would have broke the rules. But I definitely love them. They're different. They're eye-catching. I love how you can pretty much do it to any car. And it makes it look cool. Alright, I want to thank you for stopping in. Please like and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one.